you start right away with tough questions. <laughs> Thank you very much for it. And uh, I would say that uh, I have uh, uh, learned by doing that uh, politics can do a lot of good. As uh, for sure, uh, you are right when you implicitly want to say that politics can do also a lot of bad, but uh, uh, it's uh, always a matter of uh, the sense of mission and uh, the vision one can choose uh, to pursue and I think it's very important uh, that uh, young people understand that uh, in any way politics will influence their life and the idea of staying out of it to not uh, make your hands, hands dirty with it is just an illusion because uh, politics decide for you in any way so by participating you can be part of the decision-making process and you can influence the decisions. But in fact it was not to make the city more beautiful, it was to restore people's faith, uh, faith in themselves uh, as citizens and to uh, restore the lost connection between them and the city. So uh, colors came uh, in all that uh, as uh, an instrument uh, of politics, not as an artistic gesture. And then, of course, uh, once the first step uh, was made and uh, through colors people uh, realized that change can happen and uh, through change we can uh, make our life better than other steps followed. But I I think that in that we have a treasure that we, first of all, should uh, protect for ourselves and then uh, try to promote for the others. Uh, we live together with no problem so far, Muslims and Christians, uh, different Muslims and different Christians, um, and we have uh, mixed marriages and we have common cemeteries and uh, we have uh, uh, all respect for each other events, uh, important events and uh, it's a country where uh, both Ramadan and uh, Christmas are celebrated by all together so uh, that's why Pope Francis came to visit us as the first, as his first station in Europe uh, and uh, at the end of his trip he said to me, this country is not about religious harmony but religious, religious brotherhood. <laughs>